Even with that improvement, though, in the job sector, uh, there's still thousands of men, women, and children, families who don't have a place to call home in Tampa. But the city and Tampa Hope Catholic Charities, they're now working to change that. And tonight, our Vanessa Ariza is going to show you how they're trying to address an increasing housing crisis. And it's you and your husband. Yes. Who stay here. Well, my husband is actually two teams back. Jackie Henderson and her husband moved into these tents a few months ago. Before then, they were hopping from one hotel room to the next after they were financially forced out of their apartment last year. My husband and I, we had a place and they decided to double the rent on us and we just couldn't afford it any longer. Henderson is just one of hundreds of stories that fill these tents. The homeless shelter opened in December of last year with 100 tents thanks to a partnership between the city and Tampa Hope Catholic Charities. In a couple of months, 200 additional upgraded cottages will be added. I think the one thing I'm seeing is a little bit of different, you know, a lot of the calls we're getting maybe not be chronic homeless individuals, but people that are, are newly or working uh, and, and going through the housing situation. So That's Todd kind of Nutbrown with the city. He serves as a liaison between those who need help and those who can make something happen. We have to have a ownership to each other. It, once you lose that, you kind of lose humanity. People typically stay in the tents for about a month and a half. In that time, they have access to showers, laundry, and resources to get them into permanent housing. I want to do like airplane mechanics. Henderson and her husband have a plan and say it's thanks to opportunities like this that so many of us take for granted. In Tampa, Vanessa Ariza, ABC Action News. And tomorrow night, the city of Tampa will be hosting a discussion on homelessness, and they want your input on this. It's going to be held at the HCC Performing Arts Center in Ybor City from 5.30 to 7 p.m. And for more information, you can look for this story on our website, abcactionnews.com.